I just want to let you know, your sex life is going to be awesome. What's up guys, it's your girl Toya and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I just want to say welcome, welcome, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, hey y'all. So in today's video guys, I just want to touch on the topic of sex after a hysterectomy. If you're not interested in any like hysterectomy talk, talking about sex and the female organs and things like that, then go ahead and click off this video because it's not for you. And everyone that stayed, let's get to the tea. All right guys, so we all know that Sex is a very important and very real part of our lives. Whether we're in a relationship, whether we're not in a relationship, whatever. Sex plays a huge role in our relationships with our significant others. One of my main concerns that I brought up to my doctor um, before I had my hysterectomy was the topic of sex. <laughs> I am married and even if I wasn't married, I'm 33 years old. I'm going to be having sex for a long time, okay? <laughs> so I needed to make sure that everything was still going to work in the way that it was working prior to the surgery. Yes, I understand that when you have a hysterectomy, your female organs are snatched out. And what I didn't know was how that would affect my sex life, especially my sex drive and the way I would feel during and after sex. Before I had my hysterectomy, I did a lot of research on how a hysterectomy um, can change your body, how it can change your mental health, your physical health, and everything. I even talked to women that have had hysterectomies that I know in my personal life. And I also joined this group on Facebook that was really helpful. It was like hysterectomy sisters, I believe. And most of the women in that group are just going through, talking about their story, how having a hysterectomy has either changed their life for the better or changed their life for the worse. So if you are considering having a hysterectomy, I just want to let you know that everyone is different. I have heard from women who have said that after having a hysterectomy, they can't even stand to have sex. Um, they're in pain. Um, they have to take medicine after having sex. They bleed after having sex. I have heard some horror stories about post-surgery sex life after having a hysterectomy. And I was terrified because, like I said, I'm married, I'm young, and... I, if I want my sex life to change, I want it to change for the better, not for the worse. What I'm going to tell you is going to be my personal experience. I cannot give you the advice or experience from someone else. I can only tell you how my sex life has been, what I've experienced since having my hysterectomy. If you watch my previous hysterectomy videos, which I do recommend you watch, and I think it's like three or four of them um, before this video, you know that I had a total hysterectomy. Um, I did receive a vertical incision and I had everything removed except for my ovaries. So the cervix was removed, uterus was removed, tubes were removed. I think that's it. <laughs> so I do still have my ovaries. So with that being said, I do still have a sex drive because I have my ovaries. A lot of times I've seen women get everything removed their ovaries have to get removed and their sex drive just goes down here so if you are having a hysterectomy and you're keeping your ovaries i'm here to let you know from my personal experience honey child nothing has changed in that category my sex life is still a go okay another thing that i was concerned about was lubrication um i read where a lot of women were having issues after having a hysterectomy with um natural wetness and i'm like okay, um, is this going to change? I'm asking my doctor like, hey, am I still going to be able to get wet? You know, so um, I was cleared by my doctor to have sex after my six-week checkup. I was scared, y'all, yeah, I'm not going to lie. I was really nervous because I, I just didn't know what to expect. I mean, it's just like when you have a baby and after you have your baby and it's time for you to get cleared to have sex, you, you get kind of, I don't know, you just, it's like, uh, you anticipate the worst sometimes, you know? It's like you just have some type of anxiousness about it. Is that even a word, anxiousness? I don't know. But I was really, really anxious and I didn't know what to expect, but I know that I wanted to go ahead and at least get it out of the way. So my husband and I had sex, I want to say about at six and a half weeks um, post-op. And um, I was very nervous. I was very tense, but... I had no problems with lubrication and I had little to no problems with pain. So what I will say is the first maybe two or three times that we had sex, 
afterwards i felt like um kind of like a pain in the area where like my service would have been so i guess that would be the vaginal cuff area that is stitched up when they remove your service so i did kind of have like sharp pains after my orgasm and that really only lasted maybe uh, several minutes it wasn't long it wasn't like excruciating to the point where i needed to take medicine it was just like oh i need to lay here for a minute <laughs> and um after the first few times uh, i've been fine ever since i don't really have any pain um orgasms to me feel better um the lubrication down there is better because guys before i had surgery um i was dealing with fibroids and anybody that has had multiple fibroids large fibroids they like invade your uterus they invade your whole abdominal space having sex was extremely uncomfortable for me for a long time for at least a year like i never wanted to really even have sex because i knew how uncomfortable certain positions would be i knew that i would be in pain but at the same time i'm married and i'm like okay I, I can't just go a whole year without having sex with my husband. Like, that's just not going to work. <laughs> so I dealt with it. I sucked it up and I just had uncomfortable sex for a long time. And I'm so glad that I did have the hysterectomy because I feel so much better. I feel much more confident when I'm having sex. Um, I'm not in any pain. I'm not uncomfortable anymore. My girly parts are moving the way that she should be moving, flowing, and it is good to go, guys. <laughs> Another thing that I was scared of is that I thought that my vaginal cuff would break. Um, a vaginal cuff is where they stitch up the area that used to be your cervix. So it's pretty much inside of your vagina. Um, so I was very nervous because I said that it's pretty rare for your vaginal cuff to uh, break or like stitches to split, but it does happen. So as I was having sex, like the first couple of times, I was like, oh my God, please, please do not let this vaginal cuff fail me. Don't, I ain't got time to be going to the emergency room. So I was so scared y'all, but I had to tell my, I had to tell myself that it's not gonna happen to you, Toya. You're gonna be all right. Don't think the worst, just, you know, relax and enjoy yourself. And once I kind of got those thoughts out of my head, I was able to enjoy um, sex much better the first couple of times. And I was less tense. I was more, it was more enjoyable for me. And that's just because I was more so in a mood and just trying to think positive about it. So one thing I will tell you is that when you do research, it can really scare you. Like, it's like doing research on things has its pros and cons because I am a person that tends to think the worst of situations and I'm trying to stop being like that, but I don't want to be naive to anything either. So I was open to whatever was going to happen to me. Like at the end of the day, I'm not going to avoid having sex. I got to do it. I want to do it. I want to make sure it's enjoyable for me and my husband. Oh, during the do, I asked my husband, like, do you notice anything different? Does anything like on the inside feel different to you? And he said it didn't. Um, and I was glad because a lot of women have shared that their vaginas have shortened after having the hysterectomy. Um, and for me, I feel like my vagina then got deeper. <laughs> so I'm glad that it didn't shorten because I'm pretty sure if it shortens, then you would probably experience more pain or being uncomfortable but that's another thing that I asked my doctor before um having a procedure I was like well my vagina shorten will it be longer pretty much reassured me that everything would be the same and I feel like it is I have nothing but good things to say about sex after a hysterectomy um it has been enjoyable for me it has been so much better for myself and I'm sure my husband because I'm just I'm able to enjoy sex now okay so guys don't let the topic of sex scare you do not be afraid to have sex after a hysterectomy if you're married or whoever your partner is whether it's your boyfriend fiance um whoever your significant other is just make sure that they're um sensitive to your needs and wants um prior to having sex that first go round, um, just let them know to take it easy. Don't try to go in there and just be bamming, bamming, bamming. Tell them they have to take it slow with you. Make sure that you're comfortable and you're feeling okay. So that is very important to have a partner that is sensitive to your needs when it comes to um, having sex those first few times. Um, 
it's almost impossible to not be nervous or tense about it. So I can't tell you not to, but just know that everything's going to be okay. Um, just know that you're not going to be that rare case where your vagina is going to fall open during sex. Just know that everything's going to be okay. And enjoy having sex, okay? Have the best sex of your life after that hysterectomy. Especially if you've been dealing with fibroids, endometriosis, adenomyosis, I think that's what it's called. If you have been in pain prior to a hysterectomy, after a hysterectomy, you're going to enjoy your life. And sex is something I hope everyone is able to enjoy after a hysterectomy. Like I said, guys, this is just my personal experience. Um, and this is how it's been for me. And I can't really speak on how it's been for someone else. I have been having awesome sex since I had my hysterectomy. My girl is wet, wet. I got that what? since I had my hysterectomy. <laughs> and guys, everything is moving great for me. In my heart, I believe that everything is going to be okay for you as well. If you guys have any questions, if it's something that I forgot to talk about in this video, please feel free to leave me comments down below so that I can see those questions and reply back to you. I really hope I made you guys feel better about having sex after your hysterectomy. Um, and like I said, if there's anything else that I can answer for you um, or give you advice, with please leave it in the comments down below guys as always thank you so much for tuning into this video if you have not done so already what are you waiting for go ahead and hit that subscribe button subscribe button button subscribe button go ahead and hit that subscribe button guys give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you know when i post a new video and as always guys be safe be blessed peace <laughs>